Welcome to Certification Synergies, CompTIA, Linux Plus, XK0-005, Practice Exam. Questions 56 through 60. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 56. Following an audit of a user's account attributes, a systems administrator decides to eliminate the user's password expiry information. Which of the following commands will achieve this objective? The answer is D. Change age, dashi, minus one. The change age command is primarily used to manage password aging settings for user accounts. When used in conjunction with the dashi option, it allows administrators to set or adjust the expiration date for user accounts. Setting the expiration date to negative 1 effectively removes any existing expiration date from the account, ensuring it remains active indefinitely. Question 57. A network administrator has recently updated the pseudo rules in the configuration file, forward slash at c forward slash to doers, and wants to verify their validity. Which of the following commands will perform this task? The answer is A. VI sudo dash C. The command VI sudo allows for secure editing of the sudoers file, a critical aspect of system administration. By including the dash C option, the VI sudo command is instructed to conduct a syntax check on the sudoers file without making any modifications. This process allows the network administrator to identify any errors or inconsistencies in the pseudo configuration, ensuring that the rules adhere to the correct syntax and structure. Question 58. A developer has created a private public key pair on their development machine. Which of the following commands enables the developer to transfer only the public key to a remote server in order to facilitate passwordless login? The answer is D. SSH dash copy dash ID user at server. The command SSH dash copy dash ID user at server simplifies the process of transferring the public key to a remote server and configuring passwordless login. When the developer executes SSH dash copy dash ID user at server, the command automatically transfers the public key from the developer's workstation to the specified remote server. Additionally, it adds the public key to the authorized underscore keys file in the user's home directory on the server. Question 59. A system administrator has recently set up a new file system and wants to ensure it automatically mounts upon system reboot. In which of the following files should the administrator add an entry to fulfill this requirement? The answer is C forward slash etc forward slash fs tab the forward slash etc forward slash fs tab file is responsible for managing file system mounts during system boot by adding an entry for the new file system in the forward slash etc forward slash fs tab file the administrator ensures it automatically mounts upon system reboot eliminating the need for manual intervention question 60 a new systems administrator just installed an unapproved package using the DNF package manager. Which of the following commands should the new administrator use to promptly list and remove the unapproved package? The answer is D. DNF history and DNF history undo last. The command DNF history allows the administrator to view the history of package transactions on the system, including installations, upgrades, and removals. By examining this history, the administrator can identify the installation of the unapproved package. Once identified, the command DNF history undo last is used to revert the system to its state before the installation of the unapproved package, effectively removing it and restoring the system. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.